Hi everyone, you've all heard of Mulan, right? You know, the fierce warrior who saves all of China. Let's read her story and some other awesome stories. And mom and dad, have you followed us on Instagram yet? Click the link in the description. Hello kids, gather round. It's fairy tale time. Today's story goes way back to ancient China. It's the story of Mulan. Once upon a time, a baby girl named Hua Mulan was born. She was a very brave little girl. By the time she was five years old, she'd already tamed a tiger, bad kitty, walked on a super high tightrope, and rescued a kitten from a tree. She was so brave, she wasn't even scared of the dark. Well, as long as her nightlight was on. When Mulan was older, but not quite a grown-up, she heard some very bad news. There was going to be a battle, and one man from every family had to go fight the enemy. It was boys only back then. No girls allowed. In Mulan's family, it was just her, her grandfather, and her baby brother. Mulan looked at her grandpa. He was old, so old. He just did crossword puzzles all day and couldn't hear anything even if you shouted. Hi, Grandpa. Huh? I said, hi. Huh? Grandpa's pretty old. He can't hear very well. Huh? Oh, bye. Then Mulan looked at her brother. He was so little. He couldn't even ride a horse into battle. They probably didn't even make uniforms in his size. Mulan knew what she had to do. She cut her hair, dressed up in her best fighting outfit, and bravely marched out to join the army. Along the way, she practiced being a boy. Hello there, mister. Hey, dude. What's up, bro? When she reported for duty, nobody seemed to know she was a girl. Probably because she could do so many push-ups and was wicked good at swordplay. No one expected that from a young girl back then. Mulan quickly became the best soldier around. She was feeling pretty cool. And then the big horn sounded. Oh, by the way, that was a sign that the enemy was coming and it was time to fight. But don't be nervous, kids. Mulan was ready. She jumped on her horse and galloped towards the invaders, yelling like this. Yeah! The other soldiers joined in and charged, all yelling Mulan's fierce battle cry. Yeah! 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 This scared the socks off the invaders. Seriously, their socks flew right off. I've never seen anything like it. When she got to the general of the enemy army, he was curled up into a ball. He was so scared. He wasn't a very brave general. Please don't hurt me, sir. I don't want to hurt you, but you guys got to go. You're being bullies. Thank you for your mercy. You're a good man. Thanks, but I'm an even awesomer girl. The general was confused, but that's okay. Mulan had won the battle. Later, there was a big celebration to honor the soldiers, especially the brave young person who had saved them all. Mulan wore her prettiest dress and put flowers in her hair. When she accepted her medal, everyone was like, She's a girl! Awesome! Wow. Whoa. Oh. Then they cheered and sang, For she's a jolly good fellow. 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 Which nobody can deny. And she was. The end. Hi, I'm Gerda. I grew up in a place called Florida. You know, where everything is always happy and fun and super sunny. <laughs> Siggy! Sorry, Gerd. Wally overshot that one. Oops, can't control these things sometimes. Well, that's all right, guys. Who am I to get in the way of some fun in the sun, eh? <laughs> Just don't forget some sunscreen. As you can tell, I had a lot of friends, but no one made me happier than my most special friend of all. <sighs> Kay. <laughs> we did everything together, like fly kites, and build sandcastles, and make flowers. A rose for you, my lady. And go on awesome vacations to Kay's grandma in Alaska. Alaska, here we come! <laughs> hey, K, 
Okay, what do Alaskans order at a restaurant? Um, I don't know. Ice burgers? <laughs> Get it? Ice burger. Well, I thought it was funny. Burr! Sure is cold out here. Good thing I packed my winter coat. What? It's not real. So anyway, Kay and I had a really fun trip in Alaska, but I was ready to go back home to sunshine and happiness. <laughs> That's when things got really, really not happy. There we were, sitting with the snowmen and eating ice cream when suddenly... Ah! Snow bees! Oh, the meanest bees ever! Go get your own ice cream! Well, maybe we can give them just a little. Sharing is caring, eh? Oh. Okay, but no more than one lick each. Ow, ow, eat. that hurts, ow. Stop, stop, me no snow bees. Oh, stop right there. But it was too late. The snow bees had already stung Kay like a hundred times. Not to mention finish all his ice cream. Will not let some snow bees ruin our vacation. Right, Kay, right? Hmm. Huh. Mm, okay, I guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> That's a, that's a funny joke, okay? <laughs> no, but seriously. I've had enough of your happiness, okay? Leave me alone. But I, I, I don't understand. I thought we were BFFs forever. You gave me a rose. I hate roses. Okay, you're probably just in pain from all those snow bee stings. Not to worry, I know just the trick. <laughs> Nothing like a good reindeer sled ride to get you out of the blues. No, I hate reindeer. I hate sleds. I hate everything. Okay, I get it. It was my fault you got stung, but we were besties. <laughs> Guess I better get going. Sunshine State, here I come. I totally thought Kay would come after me, but he didn't. I was so angry at Alaska, I vowed never to come back again. They're back. Wahoo! Did you get me that snow globe I asked for? Uh-oh. How was I going to tell them what happened? Uh, hi guys. So, funny story. Kay's actually not here. I thought you went with Kay to his grandma. I mean, if you wanted some time away from us, you could have just said so. What happened was we were eating ice cream next to a snowman when a bunch of super mean snow bees totally attacked us and stung Kay like a zillion times. And he got really mad at me for letting him get stung. So he ordered me to leave him alone in Alaska. I can't believe I totally ruined everything. That boy is always happy and kind. Not to mention, he's got stars in his eyes whenever he sees you. Are you sure that was what happened? Yes, I'm sure, except... Except what? Except those snow bees sure look strange. They were all blue and icy and mean. Maybe they transferred their meanness. So that's what made Kay not so happy. Oh my, poor Kay. I'll get to the bottom of this. If it's the last thing I do. Yeah, yeah, I know I said I'd never go back, but this was for Kay. Hit it, back to Alaska. I was determined to find Kay and bring back his happiness. Oh, we got this, guys. Uh, just a little further there. Hold up. That's where we had our ice cream, just beside that snowman. Kay? Kay? It looks like we're too late. Hmm, if only the snowman could talk. I bet he'd know where Kay went. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. What's that, Mr. Snow? Mm-mm-mm. mm Suddenly, I had an idea. Ah, uh, finally, something other than that carrot nose. You know, I can't even smell out of that thing. Yeah, okay, okay, now please, Mr. Snow, can you tell me if you've seen a dude, yay hi, leave from this spot? Why yes, yes I did. What a brave young man, headed right down to the River of Doom. River of Doom? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Did I say doom? I mean flume. Like where kids go on log flume rides in the summer. It's right over there. Phew. <laughs> so there was still hope I could catch up with Kay at the river. If only I could get through all this snow. Don't move, Kay. On my way. Oh, this must be it. Kay? Okay. Are you there? Can you hear me? I sure can. 
Would you keep it down? Sorry. Um, did you happen to see a guy, yay hi, come through here? Sure. I saw him. You did? Oh, great. Do you know where he went? He was standing right by the frozen ice water. Could have left. Could have fallen in. Fallen in? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Relax, girl. I need a quick rinse anyway. Nope. All clear. Guess he left. Oh, thank goodness. Do you have any idea where he may have gone? There's a rose garden not too far off. Kinda nice if you like roses. That's it! Kay loves roses. I was positive I'd find him there, and we could finally leave this cold, scary place. Kay? Kay, where are you? Kay! Suddenly, I heard a voice. Who goes there? Uh, Kay? Is that you? No, it's me! But I still didn't see anyone. Me? Me who? Me, the tree! Hello! Ah! You can talk! I can even bark! <laughs> Get it? A little tree humor. I was just looking for my friend Kay. Yay, hi. Pretty cute if you ask me. Have you seen him? I have not, but... But? The scarecrow would know. Hey, Scary, did you see any guys come through here? Totally. He was heading towards the evil Snow Queen's palace. Shame. Seemed like a nice dude. The evil Snow Queen? Yeah, coldest lady in all of Alaska. <laughs> Feel that chill? That's her, all right. Well, she is not gonna lay one icy finger on my friend. Sorry to interrupt. We were just looking for a young girl wearing a blue dress. Usually travels with a small pup named Toto. Hey, you look awfully familiar. Have we met? Uh, I don't believe so. I've got one of those faces, I guess. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, we were just finishing up a conversation- How about a yellow brick road? Have you seen one of those? I'm gonna let you guys hash this out. Scary, if you could just tell me which way to the palace, I'll be on my way. Straight ahead, lady. But be careful. Real dark and scary in those parts. Well, nothing's gonna stop me. I'm coming for you, Kay. Oh, and bye, guys. Good luck finding that blue dress girl and brick road. Gerda marched through the icy forest on her search for Kay. Then she remembered a safety rule her scout leader had taught her. When in doubt, shout. <laughs> Kay? Kay, where are you? Kay? Who are you? Who are you? I was taking a nap and you woke me up. So I'll ask the questions. Who are you? I'm Gerda P. Hobsworth, Girl Scout Ambassador and President of my school's Botany Club. Very impressive. I'm Lady Shannon Von Sol, Sorceress of Eternal Summer. It doesn't look or feel like Eternal Summer around here. Oh, well, not here, obviously. Come see. Sorry about all that shouting. I'm looking for my friend Kay. Word on the street is he went towards the Snow Queen's palace. Oh, she's a brat. Maybe even evil. Here we are. Still not getting any summer vibes. <laughs> Oh! Awesome! It's like paradise in here! It looks just like Florida. That's where I'm from. <laughs> it's always like summer there. Wonderful! Then you'll feel right at home here. Well, I can't stay. I have to go find Kay. But maybe we'll stop by on our way home? Oh, just stay for a bit. I have popsicles. Hmm, I love popsicles, but no thank you. I really have to go. Suit yourself. Oh, okay, so how do I get out? Gerda looked around but couldn't see the door anywhere. She hadn't been there long. How could she have already gotten lost? Everywhere I look, there's just more palm trees. They're everywhere. Oh, where did that sorceress lady go? Owie! Oh, darn coconut. Oh, oh, actually, now that I'm sitting, I realize I'm pretty tired. Ooh, uh, you know, I think I'll just take sleep a little and just, uh, then I'll go find Kay. Gerda drifted off to sleep and found herself in a crazy dream. She had found Kay, except he was different. He was a prince. Wow, hey Kay. But Kay ignored her. Kay, I came to rescue you. Suddenly a beautiful woman appeared. She was dressed head to toe in white silk and sparkly crystals. Wow, you're really shiny. <laughs> she bent to give Gerda a kiss on the top of her head. Wow, just like my grandma does. But when the woman in white kissed her, Gerda's hair turned to ice. Okay, not like my grandma. 
Then Gerda realized she was becoming completely frozen. Kay, help! But Kay looked on as if he didn't even hear her. Kay! <gasps> Scary, I hope Kay hasn't become frozen. Okay, I had my nap, now I gotta go. But Gerda realized she still didn't know the way out of eternal summer. Where is Lady Shannon Von Soul? Hello, hello lady. It's like she tried to trap me in here. Wait a second, doesn't sorceress really just mean witch? Oh no, she's a witch. Not necessarily. Oh? Sorcery is just magic, so technically there could be a nice sorceress. Oh, okay. But she isn't. Lady Shannon Von Soul isn't nice? She won't let me leave. I'm a prisoner. At night, I sleep in a cage. Well, it's really cold outside. I don't think a toucan can survive out there. I bet a toucan can too survive out there. Just wait till she puts you in a cage. Why would she want to put me in a cage? She's obsessed with summer and sunshine. You're from Florida, so you're like the most summery, sunshiny creature she's ever seen. Trust me, you gotta get out of here. Okay, well, how about this? You show me the door, and I'll smuggle you out with me. Deal! So Gerda followed the toucan through the eternal summer paradise, past all the palm trees and coconuts. Here it is! Let's bust out! Do you have a coat? Do I have a coat? I'm a bird! What do you think? So sassy. I have an idea. Fly in here. And where do you think you're going? I said, where do you think you're going? I'm just gonna find my friend Kay, okay? <laughs> but it's much too cold out here. Come back inside. Don't listen to her. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. Psst, let me out. Okay, I definitely heard something that time. Now! Run! Gerda ran and ran and ran and ran and ran, but the thing about Alaska is... Ice! Oh, oh owie! You're pretty clumsy, huh? Well, I'm not used to all this ice and snow. Brr, neither am I. It's freezing out here. Oh, I know, but I have to save my friend Kay. He was taken by the Snow Queen. Oof, she's the evilest queen ever! Yeah, I heard she's mega scary. Oh, poor Kay. See? Doesn't he look nice? He's probably so cold and afraid. Hey! What's the big idea? Stop it! Are you trying to tell me something? Can you speak? Un poquito. Hmm, is that Spanish? Took a little bit of Spanish in school. Hola, mi nombre es Gerda. Hola, Erda. Mi nombre es Pete. <laughs> nice to meet you, Pete. Unfortunately, I don't know more Spanish than that. Do you two can? No, but I speak fluent bird. Oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> <laughs> Pete here tells me there's a princess who lives nearby who just married a prince. Sounds nice, but I'm not really in the mood for a love story right now. He says the prince looks just like your friend Kay. Really? Married? Kay? Kay? And he's a prince? Whoa, just like my dream. We have to go to that palace right now. He says it's one mile as the raven flies, but on foot, it'll take about 24 hours. A whole day? Well, we better get going then. Pete has an interesting idea. Huh? Ready for liftoff? Oh, um, is this safe? We're birds. We do this all the time. Relax. Gerda tried to relax, which was hard because, you know, she was being carried over a snowy mountain by a bunch of birds. But once she was brave enough to open her eyes, she saw that it was really quite beautiful. Wow. <laughs> right? We birds got a pretty decent view. There it is. I see the palace. Oh, I really hope Kay's in there. Oh, gracias, Pete. Other birds, thank you all. I'm forever indebted to you. Well, here goes nothing. Much better in here. Nice and toasty. Hello. Kay, princess, hello. I'm the princess. Who are you? 
I'm Gerda P. Hopsworth. <laughs> I'm looking for my friend. I think you may have married him? <laughs> oh, how wonderful. He'll be so happy to see you. Come, sit by the fire and warm up. Where is he? Darling, come down. There are some friends here to see you. Kay, is that you? Kay, is that you? My name is Kevin, but I suppose you could call me Kay. Oh, he's not Kay. I'm sorry, dear. Not as sorry as I am. Are you all right? Gerda was not all right, and she told the prince and princess all about it. I lost my friend. Kay? Yes, Kay, and I think the Snow Queen has him. Oh, she's bad news. I know, that's what everyone says. And then I heard that someone who looked just like my Kay had come here and married the beautiful princess. But you're not Kay at all. Oh, I should have never come to Alaska. <laughs> Alaska? You're not in Alaska. I'm not? No, Alaska is far, far away from here. This village is called Schnee. Schnee? Great, so now I'm lost too. Just add that to the list. I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm sad, I'm scared, and I'm lost. <laughs> Maybe we can help. The prince and princess invited Gerda to spend the night. And I don't know if you've ever spent a night in a palace, but it was pretty nice. There was delicious food. Big warm beds near cozy warm fireplaces. And in the morning, the prince and princess gave Gerda her very own golden carriage and a beautiful white horse. They gave the toucan a warm vest and a tiny fur cap. And for their journey, plenty of food, lanterns, and a compass. The Snow Queen's palace is in a place called Glacier in the north. Do you know how to use a compass? Allow me. I'm a bird with excellent navigational skills. North is that way. That's south. Wishful thinking, I guess. Good luck. Thanks for everything, your highnesses. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gerda and the toucan set off for the north, feeling quite luxurious in their golden carriage. The only bad thing about a golden carriage is it's a little flashy and has the potential to attract robbers. What a nice carriage you have. Mom, thank you. We'll just be taking it and everything else you've got, princess. Oh, I'm not a princess. Hush up and hop out. Leave her alone. <coughs> ah, I want to keep the girl. Say what now? Absolutely not. Don't mind her. I'm the real boss around here. You can be my new best friend. It gets lonely out here living a life of crime. Gerda didn't see how she had much of a choice. These people had swords, after all. And the little one was a biter. Aw, cute bird. I'll keep him, too. Great. Giddy up, horsey. So now Gerda and the toucan were off on a new and totally unexpected leg of their journey, this time to live with the band of robbers deep in the snowy woods of Schnee, wherever that was. This is it. Home sweet home. It's nice. <laughs> Thanks. We have quite the collection. Check it out. I even have a pet reindeer. You should let him out so he can get some fresh air and exercise. Are you nuts? He'll run away. You look naughty too. I'll go find a cage for you. We gotta get out of here. Maybe it's not so bad. Easy for you to say. It's like the sorceress's place all over again. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Nothing good in your cage. Okay, new best friend, let's play a game. What game? Sword fight. The little robber girl had just challenged Gerda to a sword fight. Sword fight? A play sword fight. But you actually have a sword. That makes it pretty real in my book. Fine, we won't play. It's time for dinner anyway. Come and get it, everybody. Come and get your slop. Mmm, looks delicious. You must give me the recipe. Oh, it's not for you. There are pellets in your cage. Pellets, yum. Probably better than slop. Eat up, girl. You know, I'm really not hungry. Maybe I should get going. We, we should get going. Oh, no, you don't. You're my new best friend. You stay here with me. But I have to rescue my friend, Kay. It's very important. Kay will be fine. Forget Kay. Sit. Eat. 
Later, after their dinner of slop, the robber girl showed Gerda her room. Wow, you have a lot of birds. I love birds. That's why I was so excited to find you and your parrot. Toucan! Whatever. I don't want to. Fine. Why do they all have little strings tied to their legs? Because I don't want them to fly away, obviously. But why do you trap your creatures and make them stay? I told you, I get very lonely out here. These are the only friends I ever had until you came along. Now, let's go to sleep. You sleep with your sword? Always. Gerda lay down near the robber girl, making sure that she was far enough away from her sharp sword, of course. The girl went to sleep immediately, but Gerda couldn't sleep. She was too worried about Kay. How would she ever rescue him if she was also trapped? Hey, girl. Me? Yeah, you. I saw your body, Kay. You did? When? Shh. A few days ago. I just got tied up here yesterday. Where is he? He was with the Snow Queen at her palace. How do you know it was him? I heard the Snow Queen call him by name. Did she seem very mean? Oh, yes. She's very wicked. Poor Kay. Oh, I miss him so much. I just want to find him and save him. He was my best friend in the whole world. Be quiet. You'll wake the girl. But the robber girl was not sleeping at all. She had heard everything. She wanted a friend more than anything in the world, but she knew she couldn't keep Gerda from Kay. She had to help. The next morning, very early, so early the sun wasn't even awake, the robber girl woke Gerda. Hey! What time is it? Time to get you to your friends, Kay. Huh? Come on! You're letting us go? I want to be your friend and I want you to stay here forever. But for some reason, I want to help you. Weird, right? Not weird at all. That's what a real friend would do. Really? Yes. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Now you be careful. Don't run too fast and drop my friend. Giddy up. The reindeer didn't have to be told twice. He took off for Glacier, prancing and leaping with joy. Woohoo! Let's go get Kay! Wait for me! Gerda, Toucan, and the reindeer had traveled all day through snow and ice and still no sign of Glacier. We've been walking forever. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Why don't you fly? <laughs> My wings got tired. Hey, reindeer, can you talk? Hello? Hmm? Oh, yes. But my name isn't Reindeer, it's Clyde. Oh, hi Clyde. Pleased to be officially introduced. <laughs> Clyde, are you sure we're going the right way? Yes, I'm sure. At least I think I'm sure. You think you're sure? He spent the last couple years in captivity. Give him a break, Toucan. Why don't you fly up and check out the bird's eye view? Great idea, Clyde. Toucan, can you do that? I liked it better when you didn't talk. So, Clyde, tell me about Glacier. Oh, it's the most beautiful place in the world. Have you been to Florida, though? I think that's the most beautiful place. Not really my scene, but I have some cousins who go there every year for Christmas. Christmas. Wait a second. Do you know Santa's reindeer? Yeah, Donner and Blitzen and I go way back. Oh, <laughs> so can you fly or what? Good question. I never tried. What? I know for a fact that humans can't fly, and that didn't stop me from trying. I'm fly! Ow. That's how I broke my arm. See? You can still see the scar. <laughs> wow. I know. So anyways, you should totally try to fly. Okay, maybe you should hop off first. Good thinking. Okay, just run really fast and then leap. Sorry, totally my bad on that one. What happened here? I tried to fly. Oh boy, stick to what you know, Clyde. I think maybe Santa's reindeer eats some magic oats or something like that. <laughs> or maybe it's like Peter Pan and you gotta think happy thoughts. Or maybe you just gotta believe in yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you see anything up there, Toucan? Yeah, I saw a palace just outside the forest. That way. Great, let's go, gang. 
When Gerda and her friends stepped out of the woods, they stopped stunned. The palace was huge and sparkly, as if it were covered in a million diamonds. Trees were covered in shimmering icicles, and ice sculptures of animals dotted the land for as far as the eye could see. These are amazing. They look so real. Told you this place was pretty. It is, but we have work to do, people. Or, uh, animals. <laughs> Let's go find Kay. Kay? Hello? Are you there? Kay? Kay? And suddenly, there he was in the distance, Kay in the flesh. Kay, it's really you. Hey, what is he doing? Kay, it's me, Gerda, your best friend. Stop it! Why is your friend trying to shoot us with frozen arrows? Yeah, that's not very friendly. Guys, that's not Kay. I mean, it is, but he's not himself. He must be under the Snow Queen's spell or something. We have to save him. Wait, I think I might know how to break the spell. You do? There's an old story about the Snow Queen that I heard as a youngster. Yeah? And I don't know if it's true or just one of those myths. Yeah? But legend has it that to break the Snow Queen's spell over someone... Spit it out, Clyde! You have to give them a kiss. A kiss? No way! Not you, Toucan. Gerda. Oh, right. Okay, problem. Kay is um trying to shoot me with arrows, so how would I get close enough to even give him a kiss? I think we'll just have to run as fast as we can and dodge the arrows. We? Gerda helped both of us to freedom we owe her. Yeah, you're right. We got you, Gerda. Thanks. You guys ready? Woohoo! Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Hello. Snow Queen! That's right, kids. The Snow Queen! The Snow Queen was beautiful. In fact, she looked just like Gerda had dreamed, shimmering from head to toe. She certainly didn't look evil. You're the most sparkly lady I ever saw. Thank you. May I give you a little kiss? The Snow Queen leaned in and was just about to give Toucan a little peck on the head when Gerda remembered her dream. No, Toucan, that's how she freezes you. Oh, did I do that? Silly me. Wait, are all these ice sculptures real animals? Of course. Aren't they lovely? You are evil and I know you took my friend Kay, but we're here to save him. Save him? But Kay loves it here. Impossible. You're an evil queen, and you brainwashed him. I'll show you. Kay, come here. Yes, my queen. Kay, would you tell this girl that you're happy here? Kay, no. You like the beach and the sun and hanging out with me. Don't you remember? I'm very happy here. See, he's the snow prince. And you can be the snow princess if you like. No way. Then you can be my prisoner. Hey! Gerda! You want some too, reindeer? It's Clyde. Come on, Snow Prince. Let's go. Well, I guess being free for a day was pretty cool. Don't talk like that, Clyde. We're gonna bust out. You'll be free again. We'll save the toucan and I'll rescue Kay. You'll see. But how, Gerda? Did I mention I was a Girl Scout? I don't even know what that means. It means that I can save us. Oh, cool. Wait, I don't get it. What does that do? Conjure up some kind of magic? Pretty much. Fire melts ice. It's kind of like magic. Let's go. Safety first. Gerda and Clyde found Kay, alone, shivering and looking miserable. He was almost blue from the cold. Kay? Do the kiss thing. Don't rush me. This is a big step in our relationship. How's my breath? You're just saving his life, remember? Not getting married. Yeah, yeah. Gerda? Kay! Oh, you're back! What happened? You were captured by the evil Snow Queen. She froze your heart, but I saved you. Really? How? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you got a little something on your face there. yoo -hoo. Snow Prince. Where are you? Ah, Snow Queen. Let's go. Wait, we gotta get Toucan. 
What happened? You got frozen. But don't worry, we're going home. Florida, baby. Woohoo! Wait, did you save me with a kiss, too? Don't worry about it. Ooh! K and Gerda sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Hush up, Toucan. We gotta go save the rest of these animals. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can go. Guys, hop on. One, two, three, blast off. Whoa! You're doing it, Clyde! You're flying! How about that? I am! I knew you could! Good timing, by the way. Snow Prince, where are you going? Get back here! No way! Yeah, see you never! Kay and Gerda were so happy to be home again, back in warm, sunny Florida, far, far away from the frozen land of the evil Snow Queen. Clyde stayed for a quick visit, swam in the ocean, had some ice cream, but he got homesick and returned to the north. Toucan, on the other hand, was right at home. So, what do you guys want to do next? Build a sand castle? Go to Disney World? Go windsurfing? Maybe some alligator wrestling? I love all these stories. Did you guys like them too? Subscribe so you don't miss our awesome stories coming up. See you later, kids. Bye.